friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and it's actually my mom's birthday today. So her and my dad are on their way over here right now to spend the night over here with us. We're gonna go out to dinner at the beach and just enjoy some quality family time. But before that, I need to get some assignments done for school. So I'm gonna try and get at least a health informatic assignment done first thing this morning before they get here. So that way I can enjoy and really spend some good time with them while they're here. Um, they don't live far, they only live like an hour away, but I haven't seen them since Christmas. I'm excited to have them over for my mom's birthday. I made her like this awesome, it's from a Great British Baking Show Masterclass. Uh, it's a Dobus Tort or something like that. But anyway, I'll show you guys, it looks really cool. Put myself in the back. So I'll show you guys that cake I made, and we'll, I'll take you guys probably to dinner with us just a little bit, a little bit, just to show you guys kind of um, my parents. I wanna see what you guys think of my parents, if they look like me, or if I look like them, I should say. I swear I'm like black sheep in my family. I don't look like my family, but you guys can be the judge of that. So like I said, I need to get on with some assignments though before they get here. Also, I ordered a new vlogging camera yesterday, so it should be here by Tuesday. Thank you guys for putting up with my iPhone camera quality vlogs this whole time, but we're we're stepping up in getting a real vlogging camera. I finally committed to one. So uh, hopefully the second half of this vlog, you'll see the new camera quality. But in the meantime, I'm gonna stop talking to you all and get some work done. Oh, and remember, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and click subscribe so you can follow along with my Propofol Diaries channel and my videos we post every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Yes, let's get into it. Not any older. She makes me older, but not any older. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. She's actually been a nurse. How long have you been a nurse? 40 years. 40 years, that's crazy. Yeah. my days by working out and getting ready but my parents were over this morning so I um, just was working on some school stuff while I waited for them to wake up they just left so now I um, I just ate breakfast so I want to let that digest a little bit before I go work out so I'm going to make a to-do list of everything that I need to get done this week for school this is usually what I do and while I use my planner this just helps a little bit as like a quick thing okay this is everything I need to get done for this week so I'm gonna write down my to-do list Hopefully by that time I'll be digested and then I'll go work out and then I can come back and start tackling some of these items on the to-do list. So I already did my health informatics post this morning. I still have to do my replies. I have to do a policy post. I think that's a group post. I'm gonna have to figure that out with my group. I have to do replies to those discussions. I have um, an APA something assignment for a role development. I have to do like a plagiarism assignment for role development. I also have to take my inf health informatics quiz and submit my paper topic and take a patho quiz. So just a couple of things to do this week. By a couple, I mean busy week. Like all those might not sound like big assignments, but I also have to do like all the associated reading and studying that goes along with doing these things. So yeah, it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get all these done. So I better stop talking to you all. I just did the craziest workout. You can literally see my veins popping out of my head. Oh my gosh, SOS. Anyway, oh my gosh, my hair, my life. Let me drag myself up off the floor. So Oh, just smashed a workout. I've been helping Morgan with one of the boats that he's doing for work. So I'm gonna go out and do the work on it that I promised him that I would. I'm just gonna clean the interior on it for him. And then I need to shower, eat some lunch, and I wanna smash out some work because I really wanna go to Orlando to see Emma and my goddaughter on Wednesday, but I have so much work to do this week, it's crazy. But 
I'm determined. So I'm gonna get back to it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. My salad looks so good. So it's got spinach, romaine, sweet potatoes, zucchini and squash, cucumber, some almonds, apple cider vinegar, and hemp seeds. And I think it is going to be delicious. This is my job for you guys this week. I need you to send me, or not send me, but put in the comments different motivational quotes that you like, that you find inspiring and motivating because each week I put a new quote up here to have um, in the office just to give me a little bit of extra motivation when I feel like I need it. So I'd love to hear your favorite quotes so that I can incorporate them into my office, into the ether dome to give me my motivation. So I don't have time to get ready today. I don't have time to put makeup on. It's already three o'clock and I so far have only gotten one assignment done this morning. But I got my workout done and I meal prepped a bunch of stuff so that way I'll be more prepared for the rest of the week with food because that usually takes me a while and I feel like I eat better when I have stuff quickly available. So um, I just showed you guys the salad that I'm eating right now. So, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work. I'm gonna try and do my policy assignment and figure out the rest from there. so dark in here today because the sun's not out it's like super blustery so I needed some light stole that from the game room <laughs> my Fitbit keeps buzzing at me telling me to get up and move but I can't because I have so much stuff to do it's really hurting my heart because I want to get my steps in and I want to move but I can't it's stuck to the desk send help <laughs> Well guys, that concludes Monday. Thank you for putting up with my glorious look today. I know this is one of the best ones that I've brought you so far, but in all seriousness, this week is so much research. Research, 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 which is fine. That's what I signed up for, I guess, but it's a lot. I wanna learn stuff. Like I love patho, I like to learn. And a lot of this week is just research. And it's good, I mean, I'm, I'm learning when I'm researching, but I'm not enjoying it that much. So that's just what this week is so far. I did get like two and a half, two and a half things done, I guess, but I still have a lot left to do this week. But I am starving, it's seven o'clock, I'm calling it for tonight. Maybe I'll get back on after I eat, but probably not, because I have to work tomorrow, so I gotta get some stuff ready for work tomorrow. But yeah, so that's my day. Hopefully when I come back at you guys, I'll have my new camera. Well, probably not tomorrow during the day, but when I get home from work, Maybe we'll unbox it if it's here. Better be here. Amazon. Anyway, I'm gonna go try and find something to eat and I'll see you guys manana. Oh, it's just a privacy issue. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> first official clip with the new camera. Hopefully you can see me bright and clear. Maybe a little bit too clear. I'm not really loving what I'm seeing on the little screen here. You can see like all of my little imperfections, but you know what? That's not what we're here for. I didn't get to film really at all yesterday because I had a crazy freaking day at work. I started with two patients and then I got a third from the ED and everybody was just busy and it was a busy day. So I feel like every time I jump on here after I work, I'm always like, oh, I had such a crazy day yesterday. Usually my days are pretty chill. I'm pretty <laughs> chill at work, but yesterday was a busy day. So I kind of took this morning off. It's only, it's like 2, 2 p.m. right now. So I took the morning off from school and everything and I went grocery shopping. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went grocery shopping and I worked out, showered, got ready, and now I'm going to commit to myself to the ether dome for a few hours and get some work done. After that though, as long as I get as much done as I should, I'm gonna hop back on and talk to you guys about what exactly I'm learning in school. I mean, I'm gonna come back anyway and talk to you guys about that, but 
if it's today or tomorrow. Not that it matters for you, it's gonna be in the same video, but for me, whether it's today or tomorrow, I'm gonna hop on and talk to you guys about what I'm learning in school and all the way different classes because um, someone mentioned that they thought it would be cool to learn about that and see what I'm learning about. So I will share that with you guys shortly. By the way, shout out to my mom and sister-in-law in the UK for sending me this super dry hoodie for Christmas. I love it. Um, we love super dry Morgan and I, but it's only over in the UK. So I'm sure we could like order it online, but it's more fun when you get like little gifts from family members, so. Anyway, I need to stop procrastinating, per usual, and yeah, I'm gonna get into it. Oh yeah, I meant to say to you guys, remember in my last video when I was like, ooh, winter in Florida's over, summer weather's coming back. Guys, it's been in the 40s all week. Like, two days ago is where it was like, T crazy torrential, I don't know if torrential is the right word, crazy winds outside, super overcast, freezing cold. This morning at least it's sunny, but it's freaking freezing still. Guys, where's summer? It's Florida. This is ridiculous. So I absolutely just complained about how cold it is outside and then made a smoothie. <laughs> but look how good it looks. No regrets. You know it's serious when we're using both computers. So I just finished a fair amount of assignments, pat myself on the back, pretty proud of myself, but I wanted to pop on and talk a little bit about the classes that I'm taking and what I'm learning right now. So it's funny because I actually just got a comment on one of my videos saying, oh, how are you in CRNA school if you're taking, you know, patho and statistics and stuff like that. But I'm not just taking like the prereq versions or the basic versions, I'm taking advanced pathophysiology statistics for healthcare providers. I'm also taking health informatics, I'm taking public policy, and I'm taking role development. So role development, I'm learning all about the difference between basically DNP qualified nurses versus like PhD qualified. I'm also learning about different things that I have to know um, as an advanced practice registered nurse. So it's stuff that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with anesthesia or my role as a CRNA. Well, it does as my role as a CRNA as like an advanced practitioner, but not necessarily to do with learning about anesthesia or how to provide anesthesia. And it's the same with my policy class. Is knowing public policy gonna make me, you know, a better provider of anesthesia? Yes and no. No, not directly. It doesn't, you know, help me know medications. It doesn't teach me how to put in epidurals or intubate patients, but it's important stuff to know as an advanced practice registered nurse. So I think it's important to know going into a DNP program or even a master's program, any advanced practice degree in nursing, you're not just learning what you're setting out to do. You're not going and learning, you know, just like on the job training type of stuff. It's not going to clinical all the time and learning just what you need to know. There's so much more that goes into getting these degrees and so much research and projects and other things that you have to know and be aware of that you're gonna have to do. So it's a big undertaking and it's a lot more work than, not a lot more work than I was expecting, but a lot of learning things and researching things that I didn't think that I would have to be learning about or know about. So I think it's good though, because it's really opening my mind and it's um, teaching me a lot of stuff that now I understand why I need to know it, whereas before it wouldn't really matter to me. So it's important, I think, to really know these things. But yeah, I think I just really wanted to come on and tell you guys kind of, there's more than just anesthesia when you're going to CRNA school. And I wanted to show, you know, everything on my channel, my whole school journey. So yeah, that might be this first semester that may seem boring or not like I'm in CRNA school or learning anesthesia, because I'm not learning anesthesia yet. I'm learning the foundation. I'm going back to the basics and it is all part of the CRNA curriculum though. I'm in CRNA school, even though I'm not in an anesthesia class right now. Next semester over summer, I do start taking anesthesia courses, and then the following semester I'm actually in the hospital, but I just wanted to, uh, I don't want anybody to think that I'm like misleading you guys or that I'm not actually in school because I'm literally in CRNA school, but this is, this is what CRNA school looks like, people. This is the beginning of it. It's not always going to be like this, and you know, I think my videos are going to get more and more interesting as the weeks progress, but this is the reality of it. So if you're going to be in this position one day and this is what you want to do, this is what it's gonna look like, at least at first. And it, you know, all programs are different. So some might be in the hospitals first semester, some might be learning skills and everything right now, but that's just not my program. And I'm sure you guys 
my experience and I don't want to mislead you or make you, you know, think that it's all glamorous and, you know, exciting, exciting stuff from the get-go because it's me glued to this desk, glued to my laptop, researching and learning. Like these are all my books up there, plus this one. And it's really just a ton of research and learning about different things that you might not find that interesting. But like I am learning about the Affordable Care Act and literally dissecting the Affordable Care Act and learning about healthcare policy. I'm learning about the electronic health record and you know, what does a um, medical record program have to undergo in order to be certified to even be appropriate to use in a hospital? And these are things that I'm like, do I care? Do I need to know it? But really, yeah, I do care about these things and I do need to know them. And the more I'm learning about it, the more interesting I'm finding these things. So yeah, hopefully this doesn't, you know, I'm not trying to come off across like aggressive or anything. I just wanted to be really clear that this is what it looks like and this is my life right now. So anyway, thank you guys for bearing with my, thank you for coming to my TED talk. No, thank you for bearing with my little rant. Um, I, I just really want to be totally transparent with you guys. And even though, you know, these aren't super interesting videos, I hope that, you know, you're finding a little bit of truth in them and, um, it's showing you really what going to grad school kind of entails and being in a, um, DNP program looks like. But anyway, I'm gonna go and make some dinner. I literally got, let's see, this week, this is what I had to do. There we go. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six things done out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's pretty impressive. Um, pretty impressive. No, that's pretty good, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna call it for tonight. I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff done, hopefully first thing in the morning, and then I will be good for this week. But yeah, I'm gonna go find out what I'm gonna make for dinner. It is Thursday morning and I am about to do my policy replies for my policy class. Basically we had like a group assignment this week so we submitted our group assignment yesterday and now I have to go and read all the other group's assignments um, that they posted or their posts that they posted and then respond to at least three of them. And then after that I have a ton of reading to do for patho so I'm going to do that and then take my quiz. And then I have like another group assignment for patho that's due like next week so I might try and get my part done done today. Um, and then I'm pretty sure I shot like a bunch of footage this week for my vlog So I need to go through and start editing so that I can get that up by Sunday for you all But yeah, that's gonna be my day today. I usually wrap up Thursday morning So you saw I did a banging workout this morning. That was awesome. And then I just made some breakfast I had um, some wheat toast with avocado and everything but bagel seasoning and then egg and Yeah, because hashtag basic, but it was really good. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with school work today um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's vlog. Thank you for watching. Um, remember I post videos every Sunday night at 8 p.m. so that you can fall asleep with Propofol Diaries. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And yeah, that's all I have for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good night. Mm -hmm.